What's up, family? It's Medication Monday, and today we're talking about a medication that I have a strong personal connection to, which is prednisone. And I call it Satan's Tic Tac, and you will find out why today. Prednisone is a steroid medication, and it's not the kind that's associated with like basketball or bodybuilding. It's a medical steroid, and it helps to calm down inflammation in your body. And it's used for a variety of conditions. Doctors will prescribe it for asthma, COPD, um, for people who are having flare-ups, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, skin conditions, like if you're having a severe eczema flare-up, allergy uh, reactions, inflammation in your body, and in my case, after an organ transplant to prevent rejection. So how does prednisone work? Prednisone works by mimicking cortisol, which is a natural hormone that's made in your adrenal glands. We talked about our adrenal glands last week in a few videos. Cortisol helps to control your immune system, stress, and inflammation within your body. Now, prednisone steps in when your body needs a little bit of extra help to reduce swelling, calm down an overactive immune system and to help improve breathing during flare-ups for certain conditions. Important things that I want you to know about prednisone, there's a big difference in short-term use versus long-term use. Long-term use is usually just a few days, and it usually has a lower risk of side effects, whereas long-term, if you're on it for weeks to months, it has a higher chance of some of the side effects that we're going to talk about today. Most importantly, do not stop taking prednisone suddenly. Our bodies can become dependent on it and we have to be tapered off of it slowly under a doctor's guidance and they'll slowly reduce your dose until you're completely off. Now, side effects. And I'm going to try to go through these a little bit slowly, but I don't want to make the video too long, but I don't want to ramble them off like those commercials when they just throw them at you at the end. Uh, you will experience weight gain, fluid retention, or moon phase. I really struggle with moon face and my identity after transplant because I felt like I didn't recognize myself. My face was swollen. Um, I was being honored at an event with the American Heart Association. And I I felt like I looked horrible. I looked like a puffer fish. <laughs> I will try to include a picture of me during that active phase where my body was getting used to prednisone. Now I've been on it almost four years. And this is still moon face. My cheeks, my chin is still moon face, but it's not nearly as severe as it was when I first was put on prednisone after transplant. You also may experience increased appetite. Prednisone makes you want to eat. Prednisone makes you want to eat. Prednisone makes you want to eat. <laughs> you might experience anxiety or irritability, mood swings, and it can raise your blood sugar and blood pressure. People who are on it for a long time may experience osteoporosis, which is the weakening of your bones, and it heightens your risk of infection because it lowers your immune system. A few tips if you are going to be taking prednisone. Take it with food to protect your stomach. Try to take it in the morning to avoid sleep problems. It will give you insomnia. Monitor your blood pressure and blood sugar if you have existing conditions already. And do not miss a dose if you're on prednisone, especially if you're tapering off of it. If you do miss a dose, definitely contact your doctor immediately. Now, why is prednisone so important for a heart patient? It can raise your blood pressure and blood sugar. Hint, 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 answer to, the, to today's heart smarts question. It can raise your blood pressure and your blood sugar. Prednisone can also cause fluid retention in your body. And these are all things that make heart failure worse, right? So if you have heart problems, always talk to your doctor before starting or stopping prednisone. If you're in the ER and they're trying to give it to them, give it to you. Let them know that you are in active heart failure. And they're only going to give it to you if the benefits outweigh the risk of what you're currently going through. So it really just depends on what's happening with your body at that moment. At the end of the day, prednisone can be a lifesaver when used correctly, but it comes with important precautions that I really want you guys to be aware of. Always follow your doctor's instructions and never stop it on your own. I don't care if you start to feel better, you're going to start to feel better. So what? Keep taking your medication and finish your whole dose schedule or those symptoms are going to come back and you're going to have to start all over. 
don't do it. I am on pregnancy over for life. So your girl is it's never getting off. I'm on it for life. <laughs> so again, my connection to this medication is really, really big. And like I said, I struggled in the beginning with moon phase. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I needed to survive with my transplanted heart. So hey. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking around throughout the whole video. Remember, don't just take what you are given, understand what you are taking and why. And knowledge is the best medicine. See you guys next Monday.